गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स मैं सर प्रोफेसर एम है चन्नैया एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द इफेक्ट ऑफ स्ट्रेस कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑन ए स्टेप शॉफ्ट विच हेज गॉट ए प्लेट एंड सब्जेक्टेड टू ए टार्शनल मोमेंट फ्रेंड्स टार्शनल मोमेंट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज टार्क और ट्विस्टिंग मोमेंट And the question for today's video reads like this: A step shaft, step down from 50 mm to 25 mm diameter, with a pivot radius of 5 mm, is subject to a torsional moment, and the value they have given as 100 newton meter. And they are asking us to find out what is the maximum shear stress induced in the member, friends. Let us write down the sketch for the given data. Friends, you have got a shaft like this, a solid shaft, and it has been stepped down from a diameter d is equal to fifty mm to a diameter twenty five mm, and there is a fillet connecting these two. and this is being subjected to a twisting moment that's called mt this diameter will call it as small d capital d is 50 and this is 25 mm and there is a fillet radius fillet having a radius of This fillet radius is five millimeter, and we have been asked to find out what is the maximum stress induced in the member. Friends, first of all, we have to refer to the chapter stress concentration and find out a graph which has got stress. a member subjected to twisting moment and friends the basically for all these problems and stress concentration you have to start with finding out k tau the shear stress sorry the stress concentration factor so i'll just write down here for torsional moment or for torque then the torsional moment beta torsional moment or twisting moment comma we have scf scf means stress concentration factor that is designated by k tau is equal to the ratio of the maximum shear stress to the nominal shear stress this is the equation we have got similarly if in the case of a bending moment It is going to be k sigma sigma b max by sigma b nominal. If it is axial load, it is going to be k sigma that is sigma max by sigma nominal. Friends, in the question, we have been asked to determine the maximum shear stress induced in the shaft. Friends, so we have written the formula. We need to find out what is tau max that is given by the product k tau multiplied by tau nominal the product of these two so for the given data we should be able to calculate k tau and also tau nominal multiply those two we get the answer let's see how to find out these two terms k tau and tau nominal friends if you refer to the machine design data handbook There is a graph like this in which k tau is plotted along the y-axis and r by d ratio is plotted along the x-axis. And there are number of curves. So I'll show one or two only. There are number of curves drawn like this, corresponding to various values of d by d ratio, maybe d by d two, three, one point five, etc. So these are the graphs we have got. Friends, to find out 
the value of this theta out, we have to find out what is r by d for the given shaft, what is d by d for the given shaft, and you can see now this value of r by d and d by d corresponding d by d, we will be able to obtain the value of k tau. Friends, you can write down here for the given shaft capital D by D, capital D is 50, small d is equal to 25 mm and this works out to 2. Similarly, R by D, R is the radius of the fillet, R by D, the fillet radius is 5 mm, D is equal to 25 mm, this is going to work out as 0 0.2. So we have calculated what is d by d and what is r by d. Friends, at this value of r by d equal to say 0 0.2, we have got and say this graph is drawn for a value of 2. This is r by d is equal to, these are the graphs available in the handbook. So friends, you write a vertical through this point till it touches the curve corresponding to d by d equal to 2, it cuts here, draw a horizontal line from there and read the value of k tau. Friend, this k tau works out to 1.26. This is 1.26. So, I will repeat again. For the given shock, find out d by d, the ratio of bigger diameter to smaller diameter and then the value of r by d ratio of the fillet radius to the smaller dia and corresponding to r by d write a line vertical till it cuts or intersects d by d curve having value 2 then draw a horizontal line from there and read the value of k tau the stress concentration factor in torsion so we are getting a value 1.26 now, after finding k tau, we will have to find out what is tau nominal. Tau nominal. Friends, this is a simple relation. Tau is mt by zt. Tau nominal is mt by zt minimum. So, where do you get the zt? When the zt for a circular shaft is mt divided by pi d cube by 16 or you can say pi into d cube by 16 is the value for this section modulus za. We are taking this smaller value here because this is subjected to maximum stress compared to the larger diameter capital D. Friend this is pi by 16 multiplied by d cube is this 25 cube. You will get the value and if you substitute their friends tau nominal is equal to mt the twisting moment in the shock is 100 newton meter 100 into 10 to the power of 3 newton millimeter i have converted this newton meter 100 to newton millimeter by multiplying by 100 friends then you have got the value of this as the tau nominal or you can say this is not tau nominal, this is empty, sorry. This is our empty. Therefore, tau nominal will be empty by empty is 100 into 10 to the power of 3 divided by z t is pi d q by 16. Pi by 16. I will take 16 to the numerator. This is 25 q. And friends, this value of tau nominal works out to 38.59. It is a stress. So we mark it as so many Newton per mm square. Friends, we have the value of tau nominal. We have the value of k tau. And if you multiply these two, you will get the maximum shear stress induced in the member. So friends, I'll write down here. Therefore, tau max, the maximum shear stress in the member is equal to k tau into tau nominal k 
rate of value is 1.26 we have got it in from the graph and tau nominal is 38.59 and this product will work out to 41.06 41.06 newton per millimeter square and this is the answer for this question taking the value of stress concentration into account the maximum shear stress induced in the member is 41.06 newton per mm square friends i hope that the video is interesting and if you feel that it will help the students doing their engineering degree do share this information with all your friends have a wonderful day